Thanksgiving from the heart of Texas, Texas Stadium, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. Sold out on this Thanksgiving day as the Giants come to town. The Cowboys playing for the 25th time on Thanksgiving Day. They are heavily favored. Pat Summerall here with John Madden and John in addition to all the other turmoil that surrounded the Giants they begin today with a rookie quarterback. Now of course Jeff Hostetler is out uh, Phil Sims is out and they're starting with Kent Graham not only a rookie Pat but he was an eighth round right. draft choice who really didn't play much in college and we talked to him last night and he said well he said I'm really excited about this I'm trying to stay calm maybe the best thing I have going is that it's a short week and I don't have a lot of time to think about it on the other side of the field the Cowboys with uh, one of the best records in pro football certainly one of the best teams in pro football a lot of weapons they keep talking about but for the last two weeks they've been rather quiet Well, I think you know you think of Michael Irvin and you think of Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman they're the the big three and they all know that they have to get something to the other guys and get some of that pressure off of Smith and Urban because everyone is ganging up on those two guys the weather on the cool side with the wind chill factor it feels like it's down about 17 Megat and Joey Smith back deep for the Giants Elliott to kick off for Dallas. will open from their own 20 with Kent Graham the rookie at quarterback only his 12th start ever up front a solid offensive line Elliott Roberts Oates Moore and Riesenberg the tight end Howard Cross Hampton and Bunch the two runners McCaffrey and Baker the wide receivers first and 10th for the rookie Kent Graham those are his numbers at Ohio State Bunch in Hampton. Hampton hit in the backfield by Norton and brought down by the rest of the Dallas defense. And it's a solid unit. Front four Haley starting after sitting out a week Maryland Casillas and Tolbert. Linebackers Norton Jones in the middle and Vincent Smith. In the secondary Smith and Brown the corners. Horton coming off injury starting with James Washington as the two safety men second and ten Graham to throw it under pressure just does get it away and throws high intended for bunch Casillas and Tolbert pressured Graham. Yeah, Tony Tolbert, number 92, was right at Graham's feet, and he really couldn't follow through on that one. When we talked to the Cowboys yesterday on defense, they wanted to do two things. One, they felt they had to stop Rodney Hampton because they feel if there's anyone that can control the ball on him, it's Rodney Hampton. And then the other thing they had to do was put a lot of pressure on Kent Graham, a rookie quarterback, and give him a lot of different looks. Maggot in the backfield now with three wide receivers. Graham out of the spread. Most people blitz when Megan is in there and make him block and stay in. He got out cleanly that time. Graham's pass complete to cross. Looks like it's about a yard shy of that first down as Norton pinned him quickly. You know, it is going to be, be shy, but the one thing that Kent Graham has to feel pretty good about again is he was staying trying to stay relaxed and you know wanted to throw something, but he has to feel confident in that one. That he got a third down when he going when he's going to get his biggest rush and he had time and he threw the ball and he put a zip on it. Joe Prokop will do the punting. Landetta out with an injury for the Giants. Kelvin Martin back deep for Dallas. Prokop is a left-footed punter and if a return man doesn't know that, that could cause some problems. So can that. Cowboys jump offside. It was Norton and that of course will be enough for a first down Giants right and the giant offense is coming back on the field. 
You know, I think that this is the kind of start that Kent Graham needed. He needed some of these things, you know. Encroachment, defense. Get a pass, down. get a first down. What Jimmy Johnson is yelling about, he's saying at the center, move the ball. He's saying that he snapped it, that he started to move it and jerked up. So, you know, he say, you see, he looked up, but he didn't move the ball. The center can do that. That's okay. I think Jimmy Johnson was wrong on that. I, I hope his turkey dinner is settled. <laughs> well, he hasn't put it in there yet. <laughs> well, it's a good thing. Yeah. First and ten Giants at their own 34. This is Hampton. And a Cowboy defensive unit led by Robert Jones there in a hurry. I think that's, you know, we talk about what teams want to do going in. Uh, the Giants want to run Rodney Hampton. They want to shorten the game. They want to keep the Cowboy offense off the field. Then if they can get Rodney Hampton going, then they can go some play passes. And like I've always said, the best friend of a quarterback is a good running game. And especially in this case with the rookie. Jared Bunch is set up outside Jumbo Elliott to the left. Hampton again gets the carry, throws it back to Graham. Wide open is at McCaffrey, and McCaffrey is down to the Cowboy 20 to the 19. James Washington knocked him out of bounds, but a gain of 44. And I think that Ken Graham already has Phil Simms' moves. You know, he's, he, he said that Phil Simms has been a mentor for him, and he looks like he has some of his enthusiasm. Again, he has a real zipping arm. He has a real strong arm. He took a little off of that one to McCaffrey. The play pass, the, the, the flea flicker held everyone, caught him up, and Ed McCaffrey was able to get in there behind him. And this is a quarterback that had a little confidence coming in, but is gaining confidence with each play. First and 10 at the 19. That's Hampton hit in the backfield, got away from Casillas, is stopped by Tolbert. Russell Maryland with an assist. You know, by running Hampton and with Hampton gaining a little yardage, then they're able to do things like that flea flicker. They, they see Graham hand off to Hampton, and then he stops and turns back. But as Hampton comes into the line of scrimmage, all the linebackers and even the secondary started to converge on him. That's why that flea flicker works so well Baker wide right McCaffrey to the left second down and ten no score yet Hampton to about the Cowboy 12 stopped by Washington and by Ray Horton yeah they just watch here he's gonna he's gonna run to the left and again, you know, they know that he's coming. Bunch is pointing out there left. You see Bunch, he's, he's looking out there and say, let's try it on this side. He gets a pretty good turn out there, and they get a pretty good hole on that side. Looked like Bunch was saying, you know, I'm going to block him out. I already knew they were going to left. Looked like he was saying, I can kick that guy out, and Hampton just ran inside him. Got a good block from Moore. Here's Graham, flag on the play. Pass is complete to Megan. And he probably wishes it wasn't. Kenneth Gant. But it may not make any difference, Pat, because I think Charles Haley jumped off sides or got into that neutral zone. That was a free play for the Giants. False start on the center. Prior to the snap. Oh, that was the one Jimmy Johnson was complaining about before. Now here it is. Now what we're watching is the center right here, and they're saying that he moved the ball, that the false start is on him. And you see what he did? He moved his head that time. Watch his head. Watch him. You see? He, he gives him the head bob. That hard count, so they called it on him. So what? that's on Bart out. So I think what Jimmy Johnson was saying, on the punt, they did the same thing. They didn't call it on the punt, but they called it on that play. Bart Oates is one of those eight-year veterans who's a lawyer, and you, you don't know what to expect when you get a center who's a lawyer. Graham had it through Baker's hands. He had it there, too. Well, that was a perfect throw, and that was against double coverage. Baker ran right through double coverage, and Kent Graham throws a perfect pass to him. 
Again, we, we told you, this guy has a strong arm. I mean, he puts something on there. He zips that thing right through two defenders, right into Stephen Baker's hands. He has to catch that pass. That's wow. a touchdown. Well, they compared him. Here's Matt Barr. And let's see, it's Steve Diossi. Graham stays in to hold Diossi, who was questionable, is the snapper. Barr. Field goal no good. So the Giants get down in striking range, but don't strike. Nothing, nothing score. Nine fifty six left to play in the first quarter. Troy Aikman will quarterback Dallas. A good offensive line in front of him. Two and a Newton, Stepnoski, Gizek, and Williams. Jay Novacek, the tight end. Emmett Smith and Daryl Johnston, the two runners. Michael Irvin and Alvin Harper, the wide receivers. A solid, good offensive unit. There's Aikman against the Giants. This is Emmett Smith. To the line of scrimmage and nothing more. Ed Reynolds made the stop. Let's look at the Giants' defense. Marshall, Howard, and Dorsey, the front three. Miller, Reynolds, Pepper, Johnson, and Carl Banks. Collins and Williams, the cornerbacks. McGriggs and Jackson, the two safeties. Second and ten. Harper and Irvin, this time both set wide to the right. Harper is the man who knows it. Banks jumped into the backfield. And the referee, Johnny Greer, will let us know what happened. Offside, 58, defense. Still second down. Well, Banks must have thought that he something, uh, saw something that uh, didn't happen. We had so much trouble on the, on the, on the first thing with the Giants when they had the ball and Oates moving or not moving the ball. Banks thought he some, uh, saw something there and he just ran into backfield. Second and five. Cowboys at their own 25. Aikman to throw his first pass. Outside to Emmett Smith. He caught 12 last week against Phoenix. Mark. Collins made the stop. You know, Troy Aikman hurt his, his finger uh, last week. And you can see it right here. It's a finger on his passing hand right there. And what happened is a bunch of blood came in there, so they had to drill it. You see that that spot right in the middle? He has that dark spot and the white spot in the middle. They had to drill in there to relieve the blood and fluid on there. And he was saying before the game that it's still a little tender. Did you see that other finger, the index finger? It looked like it needed a road sign. <laughs> yeah, that, that, and you wonder how these guys grip and throw the ball, but he didn't even practice on Monday. He didn't throw it all on Monday. He practiced on Tuesday and Wednesday. He's had a tender today. Complete to Irvin. That'll be enough for a first down. Another flag on the play. A little instruction session going on. Well, those are the two giant quarterbacks now. Kent Graham, of course, we know he's the starter. Dave Brown is the guy on the other side. He's also a rookie. He was the supplemental number one draft choice. So Hostetler, Jeff Hostetler, had a concussion last week, didn't even make the trip. Phil Sims is here, of course, not active on IR. Illegal hands to the face. 74 defense. It's declined. Eric down. Howard. Here's Phil Sims now in that huddle. Both those two guys, those two rookie quarterbacks, are big guys. 6'5, 215 or thereabouts. And you know, you look one, the, the starter was drafted in the eighth round, kind of an afterthought. They're looking at all the pictures of the defenses, the down, the distance. The other one was drafted number one, and the eighth round draft choice is a starter. Of course, he was in training camp. On first down, Emmett Smith. Stopped by Eric Dorsey, who has always played the run well. You know, getting back to Troy Aikman, what they did is, is they tried to numb it, and they wanted to numb the top of the finger. 
and then keep the bottom of the finger unnumb and they couldn't do it so he said he just has to go with with no numbness on that finger and the thing where it, 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 it gives him a problem is every time he throws the ball the last thing the ball comes off is that middle finger it also bothers him when he hands off with his right hand in any case he's playing he's a tough guy to Darryl Johnston outside the 35 a pickup of 11 stopped by Pepper Johnson but it's a Dallas first down. You know, Norv Turner is the offensive coordinator of this Dallas Cowboy team, and I think where he has really helped Troy Aikman is, is one, getting back, setting up quickly, reading quickly, and getting to any receiver that's open and making them spread out the ball. We know about Emmett Smith. We know about Michael Irvin, but he can also get the ball quickly to his tight end, Jay Novacek, or in that case, to his fullback, Daryl Johnston. They're all good receivers. They can hurt you in any number of ways. Aikman again. To Michael Irvin, who really took a jolt from Greg Jackson, but hung on. A gain of 20. You know, one thing about Michael Irvin, and everyone will tell you this, he is one tough receiver. In fact, he's looking to see if he has everything in there, but the Giants were even saying that, you know, after he does this, and you do this to him, he said he'll always bounce back up, go back to the huddle, and hard hits do not have a negative effect on Michael Irvin. He heads for the sideline for his regular checkup. Well, he could have had, you know, you know, something there because he got that right in the face. Yeah. That could have been something that went through the face. This is Emmett Smith. Emmett not able to find much room. Stopped by Collins again, a gain of one. Carl Banks. Up to help Collins. Emmett says this is a fun year, but it's also been a frustrating year for him because every team is using eight men up against him to stop the run. And he was saying to us yesterday, Emmett was, you look at Michael Irvin and what he has accomplished so far in 92, that after missing training camp. But Emmett was saying he doesn't feel that they've played their best offensive game yet. But wide left is Daryl Johnson inside him, Kelvin Martin. And Aikman to throw it. Out of pocket is Aikman. Out of bounds, perhaps gave up a yard rather than take on Carl Banks. That'll bring up third and 11. Texas Stadium, unique. With that hole in the roof. Troy Aikman was saying to us yesterday, everybody, when it comes to a game, one thing good about it, you don't feel the wind because it's all sort of blocked off, but the only people that get wet if it rains are the players. And he said it's a tough place to throw in, especially when the sun is out because of the shadows in the stadium. Aikman gets it out of the Smith. Smith inside the 30 to about the 27, a gain of eight. Banks and Johnson trip Emmett up. Then on will come the Cowboy field goal unit. The offensive line of the Giants getting ready to go back to work. And they did a pretty good job on that first drive because they, they have a rookie quarterback starting and the first thing you want is for him to get off to a good start and not get up looking out his ear hole after he throws his first pass. Lynn that offensive line helped him. Lynn Elliott with Steve Berline holding from 45 yards out. Good snap. Perfect kick. Cowboys lead 3-0. Three, three minutes and 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. 3-0 Dallas. Elliott who just hit that 45 yard field goal set to kick off. Joey Smith is 88. Dave Meggett back there with him for the Giants. Smith. He's out of the pack. Taken down by Larry Brown. Almost broke it. Happy Thanksgiving. 3 0 Dallas. 
You are watching the National Football League on CBS Sports. Joining us today in Dallas is the airship Shamu, the SeaWorld blimp. Shamu represents SeaWorld Marine Life Parks in Florida, California, Ohio, and Texas. SeaWorld is a world leader in marine life conservation research and education programs. They have a wonderful seat looking at Texas Stadium. 3-0, the Cowboys lead. Giant ball at their own 38. I think that was one of those plays, Pat, where the whistle blew before the ball was snapped, so it doesn't count. False start. Right tackle offense. Prior to the snap. Still first down. Doug Riesenberg is the right tackle. You know, one thing, when you, when you get a new quarterback like Kent Graham, and we were talking to Jumbo Elliott about it last night, you get a different voice, obviously, but the other thing you get is a different rhythm in the cadence, in the, in the count. And he says Kent Graham's count is slower than either Hostetler's or, or Sims was, so maybe that's why, you know, reason for I'm not making an excuse for him, but it's a different cadence that all these guys have to listen to, too. On the good side, he said it was louder. Back to throw it is Graham. James Washington zeroed in. Tell you one thing, those safeties are zeroing in on those ends. Uh, you know, we saw Michael Irvin get one on this side. Now watch Ed McCaffrey get one on this side. But the but the good thing about it is, is Kent Graham really has to be feeling good about being able to find the open guy and get it to him. Every pass he's thrown, with the exception of the first one has been just about perfect. The other thing he has to feel good about is his pass protection. See what they do to make it this time. He's the lone setback. And out he comes. By Tolbert. Tony Tolbert. As Graham looked up, Haley flushed him out. Yep, and Haley will watch Haley he's here he's going to come here and it's done and he'll be the first guy that breaks a pocket that's one thing about number 94 Charles Haley when he comes in he causes havoc so he was the first guy that got any movement there and then Tony Tolbert came off his block and he ended up with a sack third and 29 a loss of 14 Callaway ride right Caffrey and Baker to the left. Back to throw is Graham. Haley reaching at him. That one saw just the carpet. Well, the pass protection was good, but it broke down in the last two plays. We saw Haley come on a stunt before. Now we see a stunt in the middle. middle. Haley just pushing Jumbo Elliott back, taking a swing and a swipe. But he still, he, Graham was still able to step up and throw the ball. Brokop in to punt it. Left footed, as John Madden said earlier, when he didn't get a chance to punt. This is not bad. Calvin Martin. Very dangerous. Gets into giant territory. They'll start there, first and ten. The Cowboys will at the giant 48. 44 yard punt. Happy Thanksgiving. Looks happy. I'll tell you, you can't beat this, Pat. Thanksgiving, <laughs> turkey, music, football, crisp day, good day for hitting. 3 0 Dallas leads. Pat Summerall with John Madden. Texas Stadium. Michael Irvin with wide left. Harper to the right, Aikman to throw. More and more, he's attempting to throw on first down. Dorsey got the hand up to bat Aikman's pass down, intended for Smith. I think they're trying to get the pressure off Smith in the running game and you know run some on first down and loosen that defense up. 
Emmett Smith said last week, you know, he's gained over a thousand yards and he started running a couple against the Cardinals and it was all negative yardage. He thought he was going to be the first guy in the history of the game to gain over a thousand yards in midseason and be under a thousand at the end of the season. Emmett Smith, not much there. Stopped by Corey Miller. Aikman's five out of six. It doesn't look like much. That's five yards for Emmett Smith. Yeah, and I think with a guy like Emmett Smith, you just have to keep running him. I mean, if he doesn't get anything or gets negative yardage early in the game, you just keep pounding him in there. I know he'll say, what do you mean keep pounding me in there? But I think you just keep running him and running him and running him, and, and, and he's going to make things happen, and he's going to have big plays because he's one of the best running backs in this game. Very, very quick. I'll tell you, Mark Collins just came running off the time field out. here, Pat, taking a timeout. Number and, one. And he started, he ran right towards Rod Rust. That's Rod Rust, the defensive coordinator there. And he just started running right towards Rust. I think they had 12 men on the field. That's a giant timeout. So they have two left. You know, if you just look, I think you're right, Pat. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then if you look right here at Mark Collins, he got his hands out. He's going, "What the heck? That's too many guys." It's okay so he, if they let us get away with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a bad way to play, but he wanted to play fair. He said, "Look, it's Thanksgiving Day. Let's play fair. We're supposed to have 11." Let's take a timeout and just get 11 out here. You really think that's what he said? No, no. I think I think that's one of the problems. You know, and one of the problems that the Giants have had this year to me is discipline or lack of discipline. And to me, that's a lack of discipline. Third and five. Aikman quickly. Michael Irvin made the reception. Should be enough for another Dallas first down. A pickup of seven stopped by McGriggs and Pepper Johnson. Yeah, we, we talked about Michael Irvin. We saw that hit that he took earlier by Greg Jackson, and here he comes right back in the middle again. I mean, this guy is what you have to be. You have to be fearless. There's some guys that just like to stay in the outside and run the outs and run the ups, but the great ones go inside and they go in with the same intensity that they run those outs and those ups. So it's first down Dallas. Flag on the play, this is Emmett Smith. About 10 this time. Stopped by Pepper Johnson and McGriggs again. Yeah, it looked like one of those free plays because uh, uh, Leonard Marshall, I think, jumped off sides, Pat. And then uh, Emmett Smith just ran right around Marshall. That was a double dip. Yeah, I mean, he jumps off sides. Now, if you're going to jump off sides, go tackle the guy. But Leonard just looked like he just took a couple steps out there like a walk in the park, and Emmett Smith went right around him. Offside, left defensive end. It's declined. First down. See, you watch. Here's, here's Leonard Marshall there. I think that he's going to move. And then now, but that's okay if you move, you still got to play. Now take that guy on square, go right down the line, and you have to make a play. You have to cut him off at the pass there. Of course, he needs some help from that corner out there. I mean, he needs some support in that linebacker out there, too. You just can't blame the end for that. Aikman to throw it on first down. Outside to Darrell Johnson. He is cut down at the 20 by Greg Jackson. A pickup of six. That's the end of the first quarter with the score Dallas three the Giants nothing. There's a guy who over the years when you talk about special teams and guys who covered kicks and threw their body wherever was necessary. Bill Bates. What a competitor. You know, and tough guys and guys who were fun to watch. He just had surgery on that left knee, and you say he was such a great competitor, never relied on speed 
anyway and is probably a guy that can come back off that kind of surgery. They need more for a first. Smith's got that. Greg Jackson made the tackle again. What they do is they, that's Kervin Richards in now for Emmett Smith. I think they're trying to get Kervin Richards in in that second quarter so that they can run him some, give Emmett Smith a little rest so that they can bring him back in the third and fourth quarter. Remember that game that we did against the Eagles where it looked like they just ran Emmett Smith to death? I think since that time, they're trying to get Kervin Richards into the game more earlier. Plus, smooth, uh, uh, Smith has a bruised right hand. Right. And Richards again. He is not Emmett Smith. There are very few, but this guy, as Jimmy Johnson says, can make a move to change. Yeah, and 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 he's something that, that uh, Jimmy Johnson and the whole Cowboy offense have have confidence in. I mean, when you when you put a young guy like that in, you want to be sure that he can handle the ball. Although knowing Emmett Smith, you can see that they're working on his right hand. I think as they get closer to the goal line, he's going to want to get in there to carry the ball in for the score. I would be surprised if he doesn't get in on this series. Second and nine. Novacek, the move. Aikman, outside. He might have lost a little ground. Yeah, they started throwing that pass, that little loop out there to the running backs, and they, I think they did it too much last week against the uh, uh, Phoenix Cardinals. And now they're doing it now. And if if you don't get that ball out there and have a poor tackling team, you're going to end up with nothing. But one thing the Giants are doing, they're tackling well. You know, Greg Jackson's made some big tackles. That was Lamar McGregs. As I said, I didn't think Emmett Smith would stay out very long when the Cowboys are this close to the goal line. Emmett is back third and 11. Cowboys leading by three. They have it at the Giant 15. Aikman back to throw. Incomplete. Intended for Harper. Covered by Collins. And Jimmy Johnson sends the field goal unit on again. That was good coverage there by Mark Collins because it was a one on one situation down there in the goal line. They were just going to run a, a pattern there that Alvin Harper and Mark Collins was all over him. There was no place to throw that one. That was good coverage. Elliott hit once from 45 yards. This one from 32 to add to his record. Four consecutive field goals and he does. And it's six to nothing with 12.39 left to play in the first half. More than that for him. At Aikman, eight out of ten, you say, well, that finger doesn't seem to be bothering him much, but he hasn't been able to get the ball into the end zone. Elliott's kickoff. That's Joey Smith from about a yard deep in the end zone. He doesn't make it back. Now he does to the 20. Kenneth Gant down to make the stop. Joey Smith almost made a real bad decision there, man. <laughs> yeah, it looked he did. like if, you, know, you either have to stay in that end zone or you have to bring it out. He looked like uh, one of those tweeners, like, yeah, I'm going to him. No, I'm not. And he started out and tried to stop and then brought it out again. I think for his sake, he's lucky that he got it back to the 20. 6 nothing, Dallas. Giants take over at their own 20. Like a lot of communicating going down there in that bench between the players and coaches. Fred dropped the snap from center. Picked it up himself. He might have dropped it again. Dallas indicating they have it. The Giants indicating they have it. Now we talked about Bart Oates, number 65, being the center wire. He's right there in the middle. He's pointing the other way. And Graham, the rookie quarterback, see the ball didn't get up there. He never got a handle on it. Then he tried to hand it off, and then smartly right there, he said, I'm not going to hand it off. And then he finds out, uh-oh, bad things happen when you run the ball up the middle, and it gets knocked out. There's about four things that happened on that play. Among them, he got four yards. This is Hampton. He might have gotten another two yards. Robert Jones, the middle linebacker. 
Yeah, and the other guy in there, C number 67, Russell Maryland. He's starting to play well now. Remember a year ago, he was a number one draft choice, and and uh, then this year, he dislocated a toe, and he couldn't push off that left foot. He said, you don't think that's ugly. He said, you take your shoe and sock off, and you got your toe looking up at you? He says, you know you got a problem. And then for like a month, he couldn't push off. Well, that finally, the toe's back straightened out perpendicular, and he's finally able to push off just, again. Just now, all because of a toe. Pointing up at you. Graham, flag on the play. Graham, outside, complete to Howard Cross. Darren Woodson was the Cowboy defender. No play. Yeah, one thing you have to Ball have star. to like about Kent Graham. In the center, number 65. Again against Bart Oates. Yeah. Snap, still third down. Yeah, you know, Jimmy Johnson is on Bart Oates on that. I think they got by with one, and then the next two times they call it on Oates. Now, let's just watch it here in the clicker. We'll see the head down, and what they're doing is they're calling the head Bob. Now, I don't know that there's anything wrong with that. See, if that ball doesn't move, He's just moving his, his head there just a little. See right there, it's up, then he moves it a little. That's what they're calling on him. And boy, that is awfully picky. Third and nine. Graham back to throw again. Flag on the play again. Two flags on the play. One at the line of scrimmage, one at the secondary. Howard Cross was the intended receiver again. Darren Woodson deflected it. The one in the secondary looks like it's going to be against the Cowboys. There was a double hit. The second hit was by Isaac Holt. And he really let him have it. Johnny Greer. Offsetting fouls. Holding 66 offense. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. 30 defense. They'll offset third down. Yeah, that was Isaac Holt. You see. The ball goes down here. Cross misses the ball here. Now watch Holt come in, zero in there, and use his helmet as a weapon after the ball went past him. So I think they're starting to call that more and more. Not maybe a late hit, but more using your helmet as a weapon. He never saw the ball. He saw the receiver. He wasn't ready. Graham wasn't ready. The ball went right by him. He was pointing to a receiver. And here comes the ball. That's a tough thing. I mean, it's a tough thing on having a rookie quarterback. The veteran center you see there talking it over. It's been a tough day so far for Bart Oates. But see, he's looking to his right. And then when he cocks that right leg, that means motion. He's trying to start his motion. Now he's trying to call something over to the left. And Bart Oates snapped the ball. So standing back at the end line is Prokop. Well, he has about 11 yards. Normally it would be 15, but he got it out of there. Kelvin Martin cuts it back to about the 22. The Cowboys take over deep in giant territory, tripped up by Lewis Tillman. 6 0 Dallas. Well, the Giants have had had the, you know, those those things. I mean, they have 12 men in the field. They have to take a timeout. They 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 get the quarterback, you know, looking right, looking left. The ball snapped. It was snapped to his left when he wasn't ready. He recovers it, and they have to kick from the back line. And it was just when the wheels start to fall off, it's hard to keep the card up. They were kind of flat to begin with. This is Emmett Smith. Down to the 15. Stopped by M Lamar McGriggs. Seven yard gain. To the 15. I get the feeling that the safety men for the Giants are making far too many tackles. Yeah, they look like they're making all of the tackles. McGriggs involved on almost every stop along with Jackson. Yeah, and then that makes you wonder where the where the linebackers are and the corners. No, the check is a man.
in motion. Johnston, the ball carrier. Not much there for him. Carl Banks and Leonard Marshall. Now you wonder about that play call. I mean, Johnston gets the ball about once per game. And why that once was down here in the red area, I have no idea. I mean, I think when you have Emmett Smith, even if he's not healthy, you bring a Curvin Richards in or you throw it to a Michael Irvin or something, but why Johnston would be your guy in that situation, I don't know. I don't think he does either. No. Third and two. I don't think Jimmy Johnson does. Irvin split wide to the right. Harper comes in motion. Emmett Smith. Stopped by Banks from the backside, but he knocked him forward enough with the tackle to get a first down. That was a good play for by Banks, though. Number 58 is going to come all the way from the other side down the line. That's pretty good hustle. The minute that Emmett Smith cuts back, Carl Banks is right there, although, as you say, it was a first down. But there has to be someone else there before Banks for that cutback because Emmett Smith doesn't have great speed. He doesn't take that ball outside a lot. He tries to threaten you outside and then cut it back. He does have great quickness. That play by Banks would remind you of Lawrence Taylor. Here's Emmett Smith again. Emmett to the five. Greg Jackson again made the stop. I'll tell you, Leonard Marshall is really upset because he doesn't feel that he's getting the help out there from the linebacker or the corner. You see the linebacker, you see uh, 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 Perry Williams there, 23. He feels that he should have support, that those guys should be right up there. Corey Miller, number 57, is a linebacker outside him. He should have been up there in force, and then Perry Williams should have been the next guy up in force. And they're playing too soft outside of their defensive end. Irvin split wide to the left. Emmett Smith hit right at the line of scrimmage by Lamar McGriggs. A yard gain. Yeah, you're right. You see McGriggs make the tackle and Jackson give him give him five there. If it's not for these two guys, these two safeties here, I don't know that the Cowboys don't already have at least one touchdown. See the cutback? He starts in there. There's no cutback lane, and he just right—he has to run right into Lamar McGriggs. So far, these these two giant safeties have been the most impressive part of their game. Third and two. Smith is the deep back. Irvin goes wide right. And Smith takes the fake, and Aikman comes out of there with the football. Aikman will not get out will not get the first. McGriggs chased him out of bounds. He only got half of it. Yeah, that's that that doesn't work on third down. That bootleg, you have to do that on a running down. When you do it on third down, you see they're all staying at home for the bootleg. They're staying at home for the pass. McGriggs is is in coverage and then he sees Aikman run. Boom, he just comes up and cuts him off and doesn't let him get that first down. Fourth and a yard. Kevin Gogan comes in. You saw him report to the referee, which means he'll be the other tight end and can catch a pass since reporting. And you would imagine that they would run to that side. You wouldn't imagine he'd catch a pass. They don't run to that side. That's Emmett Smith. Emmett struggled. Very close. Ed Reynolds led the giant defense. If Perry Williams, number 23, made that tackle, that wouldn't have been a first down. It may not be anyway, but Emmett not. Smith knocked him back and really finished that runoff. Perry Williams, number 23, didn't finish it off. They don't get it. Watch it there. They're going to run. This, this is the area that they're taking. They're taking on the linebacker and corner on that side. Watch that battle right there. See, Emmett Smith wins it but he still doesn't get the first down. Reynolds from behind stopped the first down. Hello? From Happy behind. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, if you look here at Emmett Smith, he's going to come and it's on fourth down. Now, he has to get to this hash mark, and if we look, 
right now when his knee goes down, it's where the ball is now. You come right here. He had to get to this hash mark here, and he didn't do it. So that was a good spot by the official. Score remains. 6-0 Dallas. The Giants hold. Now the Cowboys hold. Jared Bunch, the ball carrier, stopped by Washington. And well, some the, other guys in white. The Cowboys have had their opportunities, and they sure haven't done much with it. And I think that's the thing that's starting to worry the Cowboys and Jimmy Johnson a little, that they really, in the last few weeks, they lost to the Rams. They really struggled last week against the Cardinals. They have the best record in football. They in the 49ers, but they're not really playing their best football. And when you get down there, you've got to get that thing in there if you're a top team. Second down and 10. Bunch again to the left side got a little room stopped by Robert Jones with some help from others. The other thing you think about this Cowboy team and, it, and it's a it's a couple of ingredients that always don't go well together. One is they have the best record in the NFC but they also have the youngest team. And so that's that's the thing that is always bothering their staff. You know are we. Are we too young to handle all this success? And you always have to fight that, that they don't start thinking that they're better than they are. Third down. And about six. That's Hampton. And he didn't get the six. About a yard shy. Remember early in the year, the Cowboys just came out of the tunnel and swarmed on you. They yeah. jumped out ahead early. They haven't been doing that. Well, remember against the Giants, they did that. They uh, in Giant Stadium there. They came out there and they got way ahead of them. Although they almost let the Giants come back and beat them at the end of the at the end of the game. But neither of these teams. I mean, the Cowboys aren't playing like they did in the first half of that last game. And obviously, the Giants aren't playing like they did in the second half of that game. Kelvin Martin. One of the most dangerous punt returners in pro football. Back deep. Joe Prokop. His left footed punt is high and short. Martin signals fair catch. Dallas will take over the giant 42 yard line, first and 10. They lead 6 0 after a 30 yard punt by Prokop. Dallas 6. The Giants nothing. 352 left to play in the first half. Dallas last three possessions. This time they'll start at the 41. They started once at the Giant 22 and got nothing. Started once at the Giant 48 and got three. This time it's at the 41. Fake to Emmett Smith. The protection is there for Aikman and he's going to take off. Long slide. I'll tell you, Pat, did Emmett Smith make a block though? You know, you think yep. of these guys that are just runners and their tailbacks. But they watch this guy here. He's going to fake like it's a, a running play, and then Pepper Johnson's going to come in and they're going to have a collision right there. But after you go on a play fake, then you have to pick up the plugger if he comes. Watch your boom! He just knocked him right down. And look at that passing lane. That, that Aikman had to either throw or run in. Second and four, nothing is there. Corey Miller. And Leonard Marshall shut it down on that side. No game. Well, that's what they finally needed is a play over there from Corey Miller because they were blocking Marshall and then attacking Corey Miller and the fourth guy, Perry Williams, and that's where they were making their yard. So if if Miller doesn't come up with a play, he was going to get a big big dose of running over there which they've already had third and four here comes Robert Johnson the blitz passes in the direction of Harper he can't hang on it's incomplete Mark Collins was the defender who hit him and did you see Emmett Smith again he picked up a Pepper Johnson on that same blitz. You know, you always think of him as a great runner, and you think a lot of great runners don't block. But I'll tell you, Emmett Smith is one that does. What you're going to see, 
Watch 52. Pepper Johnson come. Boom again right there. Emmett Smith is there to put Pepper Johnson on his head. That's two out of three times. This will be Elliott from 53 yards this time. Berline holding. It's going to get there. And it's good. Elliott is three for three. That's his longest ever. And it's 9 nothing Dallas. Elliott's kick to Megan. Five yards deep in the end zone. And he downs it there. Hey, you talk about a big day. You get this job on Thanksgiving Day. Someone has to do it. But you get the job that after the Dallas Cowboys kick off, you get to run out there and pick up the tee and bring it back. That credentials as big as uh, the top half of them. But I'll tell you, there is an exciting kid. Big job, big shirt. Yeah. That's a reward. He doesn't even need any turkey. Just go right for the dessert <laughs> now. Go right to the pumpkin pie. Maggot stays in with Graham, the quarterback. Maggot, the lone running back. Caffrey in motion. Graham under pressure from Dallas. Throw out of bounds. He is down. When he let it go, a wave of Cowboys hailing. Norton and Casillas and there's a flag right there too. I don't know if this is going to be roughing the passer or throwing the ball away to avoid the rush. That's what I think it is. But you talk about this wave. Here comes this wave. Graham just throws the ball away and I think that's what they called that he threw it away. Intentional grounding number 10 on the offense. That's you know, it's tough a enough. loss of down. It's Second tough down. enough. They've had three possessions, three and out. They were minus 29 in their last three possessions. The guys are rookie. You have a wave of guys coming on you to hit you. Why not let them throw it away? That's that's one rule. With all the quarterback injuries and everything, that's one thing that I think they ought to let a guy do. What's the alternative? What is he supposed to do? Stand there and get smashed into the turf? And look at the next quarterback. Hampton on the drop play, taken down by Russell Maryland. A gain of two. The leaguer Ray Hanley. It's been a tough year for Ray. Ticking down to the two-minute warning, and we'll get it. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Nine nothing. Dallas lead is it has not been a happy Thanksgiving day for the rookie quarterback of the Giants. Third and 26. Yeah, you know, the Cowboys uh, haven't been able to score a touchdown yet. So just before the two minute warning, they took their first time out. What they want to do is stop the Giants here. And then get the ball back again with good field position. Eric Moore. Limped out, replaced by Bob Cratch, number 61. Graham backed up to the three on third down. Going for the bundle and a flag on the play. Baker, the intended receiver, Brown. Well, you know, they had With Stephen him. Baker doubled on that, and you, you wonder why you have to foul him. Larry Brown was there. Ray Horton was there. They had two guys on him. Watch it double on him here. There's no need. You see, you see Ray Brown, 24 there? He hit him. You can't hit him when the ball's in the air, and you can't hit him after five yards. And when you have coverage and a double like that, why hit him at all? Two minutes left in the first half. Dallas nine, the Giants nothing. 158 left to play in the first half at Texas Stadium. And that is the Giants' first first down since the opening drive. Let me just fix this, Pat. Okay. Someone was in such a hurry to get going this morning. You know, they were from El Paso and they probably had a drive in and 
They forgot to put the K in Thanksgiving. Well, they knew you'd straighten it out. Yeah, well, you did. Whatever you see, you just got to straighten it out right on the move. You don't need to do anything. Like Stephen Baker again. Any doubts about that young man's arm strength should be dispelled. Uh, you know that he has that. I mean, the, the problem with Kent Graham, he just hasn't played. You know, he went to Notre Dame, and, and they were going to be a passing uh, team there. In fact, uh, Steve Berline was a senior just before he came in, and then they didn't pass. They went to an option thing. So he wanted to go to a passing school, so he went to Ohio State. And then they weren't really a passing team. So here's a passing quarterback in non-passing schools who never gets to play. Somehow you just don't think of Ohio State as a passing school. McCaffrey, he lost it. And the Cowboys get it back. James Washington scooped it up for Dallas. Kevin Smith knocked it loose from McCaffrey. Hey, McCaffrey had that ball. He caught it, and I think he was trying to break away and trying to run and trying to get your balance. I think he opened it up for the rookie Kevin Smith to knock it out of there. Because this is a good throw. It's off a little play fake. Again, he makes a little dodge there. Shows that beat, uh, that run, that strong arm. Ball's thrown right in there, in, in there to McCaffrey. Now watch him. As he starts to run, Smith just comes around the backside and knocks the ball out with his right hand. That was a pretty good move by Kevin Smith. So Dallas takes over at their own 44. Sometimes you try so hard to make something happen that you, you fumble the ball. Aikman. Intercepted on the rebound. By Renee Thompson. I think there was good coverage there by Mark Collins. I think you're going to see Mark Collins out here the corner number 25 he's right there with him as the ball comes watch Collins he's going to hit in there and knock the ball out he got his right hand in there whoop, knocked it out right into Renee Thompson number 21 Mark Collins has been playing pretty well today I mean Thompson gets the interception and he gets the congratulations but Mark Collins made that play he should get the credit yeah he should and the guy that he was covering is Michael Irvin who's one of the top receivers in the game First and ten Giants. Kent Graham, the rookie quarterback. Rodney Hampton and Gerard Bunch behind him. A minute 34 left to play in the first half. Nine nothing Dallas. McCaffrey, the intended receiver, covered by Kevin Smith. Incomplete. Yeah, you know, one thing you think that, you know, Kent Graham, we talked to him last night. We talked to him today, and he kept saying that he wants to just relax and you know and, and all that stuff he does look pretty relaxed he looks pretty confident and I like that I mean McCaffrey makes a play for him and then fumbles and I think it's an old thing to come back get the ball back to the guy get him back in the game don't let him sit and pout he's three out of ten really as you say the only time he's played was as a spot starter in college the only time regularly back in Wheaton High School to make it. Make it stopped about two yards short of a first down by Darren Woodson. Seven yard gain. You know one thing that you have to like is his is poise in the pocket as you watch Kent Graham. I mean he's looking he's reading he's audibleizing and he comes back there and he's going to get pressure and he stands tall in there. And then he steps up and he throws it sideways, takes the hit. I'll get to you, he can take a hit. Third and three, that's Megan, who got away from Casillas and got enough for the first down. Six yard pickup, timeout, Giants. They have one left. We have 51 seconds left here at Texas Stadium. Dallas leading 9 0. Well, we have our turkey down there in the in the bus. I thank you for it. You got a smoked turkey with a whole bunch of old legs on it. We'll give a turkey leg a award after the game, and then we'll eat the rest of the turkey <laughs> on the way to California. McCaffrey, Ken Norton made the stop. There's yeah, the turkey. I don't know how you did it, but it took a while to get it. But look, here's a here's a leg. Here's a leg. Here's a leg. Here's a leg. 
Here's a leg. Here's a leg. I didn't do it. Yeah, six-legged turkey, man. That's something. I had a good friend. The only thing I can tell you is he, he was very hard to catch. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, you got this leg, you know, with with the back power. This leg with the middle power. This leg with the front power. And then you have, you know, both sides going. You I should mean, see him jump. You know, we go down the, the highway, and then that's like that's like a turkey. Uh, that's like an 18-wheel <laughs> turkey. That one. We can give legs to everyone. We can give turkey legs to old linemen and linebackers and nose tackles and everything today. Nobody's ever turned one down. It's the maggot who ducks under one tackler. Finally stopped by Norton. They ducked under Norton. Beg your pardon. 16 seconds left. Timeout. Giants. That's their last. And I think I think the Giants are probably going to think at halftime to get Maggot in the game more in the second half because he's a guy that can can change the pace. I mean, you, you know, if the Giants have a playmaker, a guy that you have to worry about who can make a big play, they only got one of them, and it's this guy right here, Dave Maggot. And I think that's one of their offensive problems. You know, as a defense coordinator, you can go to sleep at night because they don't have any speed in the outside. They don't have any guys that you really have to worry about. And well, they make it as a one guy. They did have one on the other side of the ball on defense. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had Lawrence Taylor. And yeah. I, and that, but offensive coordinators wouldn't sleep on Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor uh, could be the greatest <laughs> defensive player that ever played this game. But the Giants have never had that speed. You know, that speed at the outside receivers or speed coming out of the backfield that makes you stay awake at night worrying about how you're going to defend just one them. thing the Cowboys do have. Graham up in the pocket. Outside complete and out of bounds is Chris Callaway. Seven yard gain. Seven seconds left to play. Kevin Smith knocked him out. You know, here's the new thing that we see now, Pat, where we see the linemen holding hands here. Now, what happens is the guard can hear and see the ball, and then when the ball is snapped, he lets go with his outside hand, then the tackle knows that the ball snapped. So the tackle doesn't have to look inside any longer. I'm glad there's a reason for it. Me too. From 42 yards out, Barr. And his field goal is good. Still three seconds left on the clock. It's Dallas nine. The Giants three. Yeah, I think the Giants probably could have gotten one more play in there, or taken one more shot. But again, when you're down, you haven't scored a touchdown yet, and you're just down nine to nothing. You want to get something started, so it's probably a smart move to take the field goal then. I think the Giants have to feel good about going in at halftime, just down nine to three, because. Most things that could go bad against them have gone bad the first half, and the Cowboys didn't take advantage and of it. And you think about not taking advantage. You think about the places they start, which we were talking about a minute ago. Once from the 22-yard line, once from the 41, Dallas I'm talking about. Once from the 42, and they have three field goals. He doesn't like it. No, and, I, and you know, because he knows that, that, that by now, had they played well offensively, they could have put this game away. I mean, they could have because the Giants would have been ready. The Giants are, you know, having a, a tough time. They come in here, they have to travel the road, the whole thing. And if they would have hit him with three quick touchdowns, they got up like 21 to nothing. He could have put the game away in the first half, and he didn't. Willis will kick off. Bar, as I'm sure you probably know, as was questionable because of an injured knee he will not kick off the Cowboys will just fall on it. Dixon Edwards so that's the end of the first half with the score the Cowboys nine the Giants three CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Honda, celebrating its 10th anniversary of automobile production in the United States. Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. 
and buy Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. The best hamburgers and a whole lot more. Texas Stadium. Cowboys ahead 9-3. At the half and the high halftime statistics. First down's pretty even. Rushing yards reasonably even. 9-3. Time of possession leans to the Cowboys but really not too much too significant. Yeah well they had the time of possession. They also had the great field position and they didn't take advantage of it. Only had four field goals in this uh, whole first half. You know the Cowboys in the first half again only had nine points but they didn't even punt. So the Giants really haven't stopped them yet. The Cowboys have had good field position and stopped themselves. Line drive kickoff will be handled by Martin at about the four. Calvin Martin to the 30. Good return. 26 yard return. Derek Brown made the stop. This is uh, what has happened to Troy Aikman. Well, you know he's had he's had pretty good uh, protection. He's only been been sacked one time. He hasn't been hurried or knocked down. He's had. One batted ball and one interception. That was the good coverage by Mark Collins there just before the end of the half. But he's really been protected well. They they haven't been able to open the offense up, or they haven't been able to get Emmett Smith running yet. First and ten. Aikman will throw on first down to Emmett Smith. Faced by Banks and down by Banks and Collins. Just to emphasize what you were talking about. Their field position, Dallas. Uh, you look at that, uh, you know, they started on the 48, the 22, the 41, and then their own 44. And again, they just come out with, with three field goals. You know, both teams look to me a little lethargic. I mean, it doesn't look like, like they're crisp, like they're ready to go. I mean, I know about short weeks and all that stuff, and but doggone it's it's tradition it's Thanksgiving and, and it looks like they're kind of a half a step slow kind of going through the motions in that first half. Second down. Aikman again to Smith. Smith stiff armed to McGriggs but he couldn't stay in bounds. And Aikman took a hit. Well one thing about Aikman he can take a hit. Watch a guy that hits him as number 57 right here. Corey Miller. And you're going to see him if we can get the thing going here. You see him just come from the outside. No one blocks him. So he gets a straight shot. Right at this minute, he knows that he has a straight shot at Troy Aikman. So he just takes it. And Aikman, luckily, he had that dump off there. Third and seven. Emmett Smith caught a big 12 passes last week against Phoenix. Here's Aikman to throw it. He's batted down by the Giants. By Keith Hamilton. And we'll see the first cowboy punt of the day. They do look just out of sync. Yeah, and that's and, and that's the quarterback's fault. I mean, he was he was throwing to his right. Now he has Eric Williams over there, his right tackle, who's like six foot six and three hundred and twenty-five pounds. And then you see, watch here. Here's the thing. Now here's going to be the matchup. So you have to find a lane in there. You see, that's tough to throw over those guys. You have to find your own lane. When you got a big right tackle like that, Saxon, he'd been in a slump, but this will help to make it at the 17 or 18. Make it. Oh, 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 take him down. The Giants will take over at their own 39. Here, the Giants' first half possessions. You know, and that's tough when you started. You know, your own 20, 38, and 20 is not bad, but. Your own three, you know, that's a tough thing. Then at the end, it looks like Graham started to get a little more confidence with good field position. Look at the last one, their own 40. You know, you kind of get out there around midfield and come out with a field goal. So he had to go in feeling pretty confident. There were too many ohms on that page. Yeah, like others. <laughs> Ours. First and ten. Graham back to throw it on first down. Throws it around Tolbert to Hampton. And Hampton is wrapped up by Kevin Smith. 
And out of bounds. You know, there's a good example six. right there, Pat, of what you were just talking about is Kent Graham threw that one around Tolbert on the play before Aikman tried to throw it through. Now watch, you're going to get a rush. Riesenberg is right tackle is right there. Now you have to find that lane. You have to throw it around 92. You can't throw it over him because he's going to jump up. And he's and six, obviously, six. Yeah, and obviously you're not going to throw it through him. And, and the rookie Graham did it. Aikman didn't do it to play before. Second and five. Blitz. Graham just barely got rid of the ball, but did to punch. And a gain of six and a giant first down. Norton hit Graham almost before he could make the handoff. I'll tell you, Norton gets back there as quickly as a handoff. Watch, here comes Graham. Here comes number 51. And how he gets that ball handed off, you have no idea. Luckily, Bunch was coming inside because I think watch Norton 51. He hits that hole perfectly. And you see Bunch, you could have hit Bunch perfectly. First and 10 in Dallas territory. Graham will throw it. And wide open is McCaffrey. Another giant first down. Norton on the stop, 17 yard gain. He was doing a pretty good job out there as Jumbo Elliott, the left tackle, because Charles Haley's one of the better pass rushers in the league. Now, he has a groin injury. He didn't play last week, Charles Haley. But Jumbo Elliott has done a good job of handling that because that's the toughest guy for a big guy like Jumbo. I mean, Jumbo's six foot seven, 305 pounds, and big guys like that have trouble with speed, and Haley is speed. Haley missed last week with a groin injury. This is Hampton. Nothing to it. Norton having a busy day. Well, Norton didn't run by anything that time. He just he just waited right there for the for the cutback. Ken Norton, Ken Norton Jr. Remember his dad, Ken Norton, when he was a heavyweight champion of the world. Remember he beat Muhammad Ali in San Diego. I did a couple of his fights. A fine athlete. Well, he's very proud of, of Ken Jr. playing here for the Dallas Cowboys. Never played at UCLA. Graham fell down, missed a tackle, incomplete. Everything went wrong that could. Howard crossed the intended receiver. Yeah, you, know, you look at Ken Graham there, and you and you figure nothing worries this guy like he doesn't know any better. I mean, he's just in there. In there playing and competing. Yeah, I mean, he's not scared. He's not worried. He's not nervous. He doesn't have time to because look at this pressure. He was only sacked once so far, but he's been hurried nine times. He's been knocked down eight times. But the big thing is here that he hasn't had any interceptions. He hasn't given the Cowboys a ball. 39, and that is so very important. Here comes a safety blitz. But they still got the ball out to McCaffrey. Graham did. Not yeah. enough for a first down. Five yards. Yeah, game. but his just getting rid of that ball and keeping that field position was great because Horton is going to come up here, number 20. He's right there in the middle. They don't even pick up that blitz. He gets not only a free run, but an inside free run. And Kent Graham didn't take his eyes off the receiver. He didn't worry about Horton coming. He just stood in there and threw it. Barr will try the field goal from 44 yards. No good. That one's no way good. left. And the score remains 9 to 3. 10 16 left to play in the third quarter. The artist at work. Six legged turkey, that's not it. But in a trophy case, those are the previous winners and what they left. Well, you see, this was the, the first one. That was when Eric Kramer got the turkey leg. Jerry Ball had the carcass. There's the carcass. Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith. You see, there's their turkey legs in the thing. When Reggie White, we gave him the first one, we couldn't find a leg to put in there. Reggie <laughs> ate the whole thing. What we do, we have the shrine now. It's somewhere in Kansas. I'm not going to tell everyone where it is because we have a police guard there. Very and secure. Kids, and kids come from all over the world to look at it. A cherished prize. And today, there are six of them. We don't have to give them all away. Well, the way this thing's going, I don't know that anyone's getting in. How do you give a kicker a leg? Emmett Smith. 
Stopped by Corey Miller. I mean, you come here and you and you and you think that the Cowboys are going to light it up a little because they're they have been one of the exciting teams in the league this year, but they aren't today. There's their defensive line coach, Butch Davis, there, and there's talk about him being the new head coach at Arkansas. They talked to him. Frank Boyles, the athletic director, talked to him last week, and he said that he may be one of four or five candidates. Eggman gets up to Novacek, and Jay gets a Dallas first down stop. Dragged down by Pepper Johnson. This is one thing that the Cowboy offensive line has been doing well all day is pass protection. You watch him up front, you see big Nate Newton in there. He takes on Leonard Marshall, doesn't let any penetration come up the middle, so Aikman can just stand there and then step up and throw the ball. There's the offensive line, Stepnoski, the anchor, Giesig and Newton, the guards, two in A and Williams. The two tackles. Yeah, that big Eric Williams, the right tackle. He's going to be a Pro Bowl player for a long time. Aikman, incomplete. Tended for Michael Irvin. Flag on the play. It's hit by Lamar McGriggs. I don't know. They're looking. They got the ball was down there. A flag is down there, and a mouthpiece was down there. Defense. Number 38. Defense. So it's a pickup of 16. Right, there's close. Michael Irvin. Lamar McGregs is number 38. He's going to come in here. Now, what they say is he had to get there before the ball got there. That looks awfully close to me. I mean, I think you have to let a defensive back play defense. I mean, he's going in there for the ball. Again, he does get there yeah, he does. just a little before the ball got there. That's tough. Because if you stand there and let them catch it, they'll kill you. First down. Out to Smith. Out of bounds, chased by Carl Banks. No gain. Yeah, they've had Emmett Smith pretty well corralled today, not only as a as a runner, but as a pass receiver. I mean, they're not going to let him get anything going. You'd think, John, he would be about Aikman's third choice to catch the ball which means they're doing a pretty good job downfield of covering the wide receiver. Yeah, and I think you know that they, they did the same thing last week. Uh, the Cardinals did the same thing. They took Michael Irvin away and then they had to go to Emmett Smith. I think he caught 12 passes last week. That's not the way to move the football. Robert, this is Smith with the ball. Hit by Eric Howard. Four yard pickup. You can see the giant offensive line there waiting again for another opportunity and and they and they've hung in there pretty well today and they they know that they have a rookie quarterback and you and you have a rookie quarterback you have to give them protection there are going to be things going you're going to get a different count it's going to be a different sound you're going to snap the ball sometimes he's not ready and that's all happened third down. Got rid of it. Aikman took another shot. Ten yard gain. Harper, the reception. That's one thing that the that the Giants in this second half, they're getting to Aikman now. They're starting to put more pressure on him. That was a corner. That was Renee Thompson who came in. He was outside in a cover position. Then then he came just off that tackle. And they, you know, you know, he blitzed off that right tackle and they didn't get him blocked. And they had nobody to block him. That was a pretty well timed blitz and that's when Aikman sees that that's when uh, you have to take that one yourself and you have to get rid of the ball to Emmett Smith started about the 30 game three 640 left to play in the third quarter 9 three Dallas leading. It'll make it second and seven. We were, you were asking Jimmy Johnson yesterday if his players really took this Thanksgiving Day game against the Giants seriously. 
He said, I think so, but never as serious as I do. And I don't think they did take him seriously. Banks blitzes. Smith gets the reception. Gets a juke away from one man to the 10. Smith, touchdown. One thing he's going to keep that football right. that football isn't going to go to a teammate or it's not going back to the official here you see again he's had to dump it off he hasn't had anything open deep he's been getting pressure Smith made a heck of a move on Renee Thompson Didn't Renee you know. Thompson is a pretty good old and open field tackler he sure wasn't on that play the extra point is good and Dallas leads it 16 3 that was a heck of a move right there didn't ever touch him did he touchdown to Emmett Smith keep the ball Emmett sixteen to three make it and Smith back deep for the Giants the story of Dallas scoring play scoring drive the play the touchdown pass Aikman to Smith Elliott's kick. Will go to Smith. He's cut down at the 19 by Darren Woodson. And that's what happened to the ball that Emmett Smith scored with. Safely under lock and key. 16-3. Thanksgiving, guys. Hope I get a piece of that turkey today. Oh, right here. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to the people back at home, also. By the way, and happy birthday, Bo. I know you're about 40 years old. <laughs> the good wishes from Tommy Ag to Bo Jackson. He'll be played with in college at Auburn. Flag on this play. Hampton, the ball carrier. Yeah, that was before the game. They were all full of Thanksgiving cheer. And guess it's not only Thanksgiving, but it's Bo Jackson's birthday. Tommy A.G. was wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving and Bo a happy birthday. What he say? He's about 40. I know, but they played together at <laughs> Auburn, so Tommy must Race be man. about 40. Defense. First down. That's Ray Horton right there in the face mask on Hampton. So it's first down Giants at their own 34 Dallas leading 16 three five and a half minutes left third quarter first and ten rookie quarterback Kent Graham Dallas gets in nowhere to throw and nowhere to go Robert Jones led the blitzing Cowboys. I think Ken Graham knows that because it's coming. He turns to his right. The pressure comes from his right. See the free man right there comes. Now he just has to throw that ball. He has to get rid of it. Robert Jones, number 55, was free, coming in his face, and you'd have to take the sack or throw that one away. He's an interesting case. Number one draft choice from East Carolina. In fact, the Cowboys have two starting linebackers and a linebacker coach from East Carolina. Second and ten. Again they blitz. It's Norton that chases Graham out of the pocket. But he evades that and gets it complete to Callaway. Not quite a first down, a gain of nine. Yeah, any any time you get Dave Maggot here in the backfield, what the what the idea is is to to get up there and try and blitz and make him think you're coming and make him stay in and block. You see how he had to block Norton there? That way, if you blitz, then you don't have to cover him. Then you make him go to other guys, other guys like Callaway, because everyone that plays against Dave Maggot doesn't want him to come out of the backfield on passing down. They say that's the one guy you got to know where he is when the Giants have the ball. This is Bunch. He won't get anything. 
Brown and Smith. And I'll tell you who made oh. the play, though. It was Jim Jeffcoat. Jim Jeffcoat is in there at right defensive end for Charles Haley, and he gets the penetration. And if you watch, if you just watch right here, the thing on short yardage you can't allow is penetration. And watch Jeffcoat get the penetration. Boom, he hits the gap. You see it right there. Once he got in there three yards into the backfield, the play didn't have a chance. Then all those other things happened. Brokop back to punt. Off the side of his foot. Calvin Martin fields it. And is taken down quickly by Bart Oates. 32 yard punt and a four yard return. 16 3 Dallas. You can't beat that, Pat. We got football here today, Thanksgiving in Dallas. And on Sunday, we're going to be in San Francisco, the Eagles and the 49ers, and then sandwiched in by in between. It's a good old skate. Intended for Irvin from Aikman. McGriggs with him. I tell you that McGriggs has been all over the all over the field today, making tackles and and doing everything. Let's watch the protection here. You know, I was talking about about the right tackle here, Eric Williams, as being one of the real good ones. And I think that that he's so big and so strong. You see how watch watch immediately his arms come up and he gets his hands out on Dorsey like that. From that point on, you don't have a chance. When a guy is that big and that strong and his arms are that long, there's no way you're going to go through them and you can't go around them. And great footwork, too. This is Emmett Smith. Emmett off to the races. Sixty-eight yards for Emmett Smith. Just keep giving him the ball and some good things are going to happen. And it happened off that right side. Behind Gizek and Williams. Emmett Smith, his second of the day, 15 carries, 112 yards for Smith. The extra point is good. Dallas 23, the Giants 3. This Sunday in game one of our doubleheader most of you will see Phoenix at Washington the defending world champions are in desperate straits coming off another loss Monday night Sunday they'll play the Cardinals. The Cardinals a team that came back from a 24 to 6 deficit to beat Washington 27 24 back in week five Sunday they meet again in game number one of our doubleheader on CBS. Kickoff handled by Joey Smith. Smith again. Gets out to the 22. Yeah, you know, let's watch these blocks here. We were talking about Eric William. He gets a block here. Giesick gets a block here. Alfredo Roberts gets a block here. These guys both know where the plays go and they point to it. And then whap. Emmett Thomas, Emmett Smith takes it right through that hole. Look at that block of Williams, then Giesing, then Alfredo Roberts, then Nate Newton from the backside, and no one touches him. Hey, that's why you keep giving the ball to Emmett Smith. Hey, you give it to him off tackle, you give it to him inside. Every play isn't going to be a big one, but some of them are going to be a big one. Eventually, he'll pop something out of there. On first down, Graham backs the throw. Out to Hampton. Remember we did that game and Emmett Smith today, he looks fresh. Remember that game against Philadelphia? Oh, yeah. I tell you, they ran him at this at this play here, this was November first. He said he wasn't tired and he was just relaxing. He still says he wasn't tired. I know it, but I I, I think that was the most exhausted football player I've ever seen. Now look at him now, he's fresh. It's Thanksgiving. It's crisp out there. He's got a couple of touchdowns. It's fresh. 
He wasn't fresh on that other game. Got his 100 yards now. Here's Graham back to throw. Out to Hampton again. And Hampton hit down at the 30. Smith, Vincent Smith, and Jones. Yeah, we were talking about that that last time that Dallas was in there on defense and Jim Jeffcoat made that big play. He was in there for Charles Haley. And uh, I think that Haley aggravated that that groin again. And uh, so so Jeff Coat has been playing. I mean he's been playing right side and left side. Haley's back in there now and Jeff Coat's playing on the other side. Along with uh, Leon Lett. Jeff Coat in Graham's face. He had to throw low. Maggot couldn't hang on. Now, Jim Jeffcoat's a guy that that is really when you talk about a team player it's Jim Jeffcoat and that's what you know that he's been the right in they bring in Charles Haley and Haley starts in front of him Jeffcoat just takes it they play him at left end they play him inside and wherever he plays he not only does it doesn't say a word but he comes up with big plays for the Cowboys in his case I remember someone telling us there is no I in team and he fits that bill. I think and he played when Haley last week couldn't play against the Cardinals. Jim Jeffco was outstanding. Pro cops kick. They're caught by Kelvin Martin. Dallas 23. The Giants 3 244 left in the third quarter. This whale's eye view is from the airship Shamu, the SeaWorld blimp. SeaWorld rescues and rehabilitates hundreds of marine animals each year, and its parent company, Anheuser-Busch, are committed to marine life conservation. Looking down right now at Texas Stadium. Now, what do you think of the people that started football, if they were looking down at that same shot? And they said, that's a football stadium. They go, nah, what? That's a what? <laughs> and there's what flying over? And there's what on the floor? You mean it's not grass anymore? They play in a carpet? And they got a roof with hole in it. They got elevators. <laughs> elevators. And Wires. Some of, and some of the places have roofs without holes in them. They got numbers on the uniforms. And there's no more grass and dirt. And there's names in the back of the jerseys. Jim Jeffcoat. And if you have the same last name, you can have a first initial. And the Cowboys lead the name in Smiths. They have four Smiths on their team. So therefore you can have your last name and your first initial. Harper was the man in motion and this is Emmett Smith. Emmett out for a gain of six stopped by Pepper Johnson and Perry Williams. Yeah, the good thing about about playing on Thanksgiving Day especially for the winning team is that you have a long 10 days after the game is over now. You don't like getting ready before it's a short week. You're really not rested up. But if you win the game, it becomes a real advantage. They got a couple of days off. This is the 25th time the Cowboys have played on Thanksgiving Day. Used to be just Green Bay and Detroit in Detroit every year. Vince Lombardi put a stop to that. Alternating teams and then Dallas picked up the tradition. Aikman to Novacek, first down, midfield. Again, you just watch that big Eric Williams over there at tackle. There's Jumbo Elliott on the giant side, one of the good tackles in this league. And on the other That's side out there in the field is Eric Williams, who, who I think is probably one of the good ones right now, but is going to be one of the best ones. Just, just watch his work here. He's going against Eric Dorsey, but he gets those big hands out there, and he's so big and strong that all he has to do is take a right hand, and boom, he just pushes the guy right around the pile. And you know, there's something else about him that I know you admire. admire. Great footwork. Yeah, yeah. As one foot moves, the other foot's always right there with him. Aikman out to Smith. Didn't hold it. I mean, he is a big guy, and then you know he's, he's from a small school. He went to Centro State in Ohio, 
But when you get a guy six foot six, 320 pounds from Philadelphia, did a little boxing there, and you just know that this guy has to be an NFL player, especially when you see him move. Now, there's a lot of big old guys around, and there's probably a lot of big old guys around now because they've just been eating turkey all day, but they don't move and have the athletic ability that this guy has. Second and ten. Hand off again to Smith, right side, not much. Two yards. Over on the Giants sideline, the other rookie quarterback, Kent Graham, has played so far. This is Dave Brown, the number one draft in the number one draft choice in the supplemental draft. Yeah, which means that they picked him after the draft, but they used next year's number one draft choice. So next year they don't have a number one draft choice, but they have Dave Brown. And they say he is everything they thought he was going to be when they took him. Yeah, but you wonder about that when they start Kent Graham. Yep. Uh, you know, and again, he wasn't in camp, but but he's been there a long time. He's been there long enough now to play this game. Aikman under pressure from Howard and Marshall threw it in the direction of Emmett Smith. Incomplete. And Saxon will get another chance. Make it deep. Saxon to punt. Mike was saying yesterday at practice that he had been in a little bit of a slump. And he had 15 or 16 different reasons why. <laughs> That's what punters and kickers, they have so many reasons because they have so much time standing around to think about it and count them up. Down at the three by Kenneth Gant. A reminder that this Sunday on the NFL today at 12:30 Eastern Time, you'll hear from the Bears All-Pro linebacker Mike Singletary in a way you have never heard from him before. Hey baby, hey baby, we're gonna be here all day. We're gonna be here all day, baby. I like this kind of party. I like this kind of party, baby. All right, bring it, baby. I like this kind of party. What? <laughs> that's a happy Thanksgiving like, from I, Mike Singletary. Yeah, I like this kind of party. <laughs> well, that's the way the great linebackers do. I mean, they talk about guys who like to hit. Mike Singletary was one of those. Bunch was the ball carrier. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 23, the Giants 6, a uh, Giants 3. Our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Leading two touchdowns by Emmett Smith in the second half. Given the Cowboys room, second and six. Giants ball back at their own seven yard line. Graham still a quarterback. Hand off to Hampton. Hit it about the eight. The surge got him up to the ten. A gain of four. Leon Lett and Jones made the stop. You know, it's funny. You look at the the Giants now, and they're where the Cowboys were a couple years ago, and the Cowboys now are where the Giants were a couple years ago. And I think you have to give a lot of credit to Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys, Jimmy Johnson. They came in and 18 of the 22 starters are new. He brought them in. He brought in new guys. And he completely changed this team around. Third and short. Graham to throw it. And it in the direction of Megan. They made some changes, as you said. Well, you know, when when Jimmy Johnson comes to place, he said he timed. He said he looked at the team. He thought they were pretty good. He timed them. He said we can't play with these guys. So he started doing. I mean, they drafted 54 players. You know about the Herschel Walker trade. They made 46 trades. 
They had 32. I mean, they had waivers and trades and drafts and and Plan B and everything that you could have. They just kept bringing in a new player. The important thing is they did something. They really made some changes. High kick. Martin signals for the fair catch right at midfield. 14:06 left to play in the ball game. 38-yard kick. 23 to three the score. This game summary is sponsored by Budweiser. Emmett Smith has 161 yards, two touchdowns. Elliott of Dallas made three field goals, 12 straight for team record. Troy Aikman, 15 out of 23. That's the direction you'll be heading. Well, you see this? Yep, the sun is setting right there. It always sets in the west. We're here. We got to go to San Francisco, so I'm going to go right towards the sun where it's setting. Well, it always sets in the west. I know, but I, I, I just got to get going before it gets dark so I get pointed in the right direction and just keep going on that direction, eating turkey. <laughs> you don't stop <laughs> when the sun sets. But <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get my bearings. I'm just going to put it right here, just like this. Just follow that X, just like that. I just put that, ingrain that in, and then we can take over. I can just see you headed in the bus in the sunset with that six legged turkey chasing you. You know this is one of the first sunsets I'm ever going to see in my life. You know because everyone talks about they're going to look at a sunset and it usually takes too long and you never see when it happens. I think we may see this one. There it is. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's the first time I've ever seen a sunset in my life. It's amazing how fast it left. That's Kervin Richards and the flag on the play. Five yards for Richards. Ed Reynolds made the stop. Why is that the first sunset you ever saw? I don't know because everyone talks about watching the sunset and then I look and the sun's up there and then I don't have patience to sit and watch it. Hmm. So I start I start to watch it and then it's all you know it gets boring and I walk away and then it's dark and I missed it. That's the first time I've ever saw the sun go down in my life. <laughs> well I guess that's a logical reason. But yeah but I mean you watch it and it's way up here and you think well I'll watch the sunset and I'll watch it and you say ah the heck with it and you walk away and the next thing you know it's dark. you never did see at the point where it went underneath. Well the key is patience. <laughs> <laughs> Very little of that. Back is Aikman. It's one thing he's been patient. Incomplete. Michael Irvin, the intended receiver. Mark Collins, the defender. You know who hasn't been very patient is Michael Irvin. I think he's he's getting upset because he's a guy who likes to you know play. He likes to compete. He likes to win, but he wants to be part of the game. And as you see, three catches for 32 yards. He's looking up at himself now. He has not been a part of this game. And he wasn't last week. Oh, I know it. And they're you know starting to take him away and. I think that you know maybe Norv Turner and the coaches have to do something to move around a little to get him open. Maybe when they do roll a zone towards him, they still have to throw it to him. I don't think you can just let him zone him or roll to him and not throw it to him. Much like the 49ers do with Jerry Rice. Incomplete. Pass intended for Kelvin Martin. Aikman down again. Philip Leonard Sparks. The tackler that by Leonard Marshall he's going to come from Aikman's left you see number 70 coming from the outside he just oh, runs me. right through to an A and he hits Aikman just as he throws the ball Mark to an A has done a, a pretty good job of blocking Leonard Marshall most of the day but on that time Marshall won that pass rush Saxon back to punt make it deep for the Giants at the 10. Saxon just got it away, but it's a good kick. Mega takes it at the 12. Not much room to roam. Dixon Edwards down in a hurry to make the stop. A 44-yard punt, a seven-yard return. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by the Heartbeat of America Chevrolet and your local Chevy dealer. Nintendo, get your daily dose of fun with Game Boy. Have you had your fun today? And by Floorshine Comfortech Shoes.
try a pair and get comfortable. 12.37 left to play. There's a group. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. Well, if, if you're worried about what to do with those, those six legs, there's a place to give them. Yeah, and I got plenty of turkey. I mean, I got the... I got that uh, that turkey with the with the six legs that smoked, and uh, turkey left over from last night. Then I'll have other leftover turkeys, and we're heading towards that sunset. But it's gone. Way. Yeah. Graham is still the quarterback. Back to throw it. It's high, incomplete. Intended for Howard Cross. Yeah, I, I've been impressed with, with with Ken Graham though. I mean you look he's 12 for 26 151 yards but the guy hasn't played an awful lot of football. He's really getting rushed. He's being he's being knocked around. They know that they have to throw the ball. The the Giants aren't what they used to and uh, used to be in any area but the guy hangs in there. You know a quarterback cannot look at the rush. He has to look beyond the rush and downfield. And that's one thing that Kent Graham has done today. They say you can't look at it or you can't feel it either. That is the rush. I don't say, see how you can not feel it. Here's Graham. Again, the pressure's on. Headed for Megan. Hit by Washington. I guarantee you, he felt that one. He felt it twice. He felt it. He felt it when, uh, when they hit him and then when he hit the turf. I mean, they're really getting after him. Watch Jim Jeff go here. He's coming on Jumbo Elliott. Just gives him a move, goes right by him. And then Russell Maryland's in the middle, Tony Casillas in the middle, then Jeff Goat falls on top. But well, I was walking down to the field earlier. Somebody asked me why they call Jumbo Elliott Jumbo. 6'7 and 320. Oh, what else would you call him? Shorty? Well, that Graham has been under some kind of pressure and today. But the Cowboys know more. he has to pass. There's some more. <laughs> Incomplete. Callaway, the intended receiver, Ray Horton, came on a blitz. You know, here's why they call him Jumbo. Now, watch that stance here. He's all ready to go. I mean, he doesn't even put a hand down or anything. He knows that in Haley, he has speed, and he has to get out there, and as he said, he has to have a strong inside hand. See that right hand? He has to have a strong inside hand, bring that right hand in, and then just push him to the outside. Broke up again. Now that's tackle talk. Tackle talk, strong inside hand. Martin. Cowboys will take over at about the 48. Corey Miller down to make the stop. 37-yard punt. 23 to 3 the score Dallas leads. They're quicker down here in Texas. So I think if we go Most fast, we we still may catch it sitting someplace else. Most things are quicker here. <laughs> Aikman gets it outside to Daryl Johnson. Broke the tackle, got a first down. Lamar McGriggs. Yeah, this is usually when Daryl Johnston gets the ball, is at this time of the game. You know, at the end of the game, after all the, all the thing, he's done all the hard work, he's done all the blocking, he's done all that stuff, then they usually give him a bone at the end of the game. He's over to the sideline now. Well, he had his bone. Yeah, just asked him over there, what was that thing they threw me? Yeah. I was surprised early in the game. Remember, they got down there and they gave it to him on second down, and I said, whoa, where'd that one come from? So was he surprised. This is Richard. About the 34, stopped by Eric Dorsey, but he got four. There's that defense, Russell Maryland, number 67 there. Tony Casillas sitting next to him. Casillas was telling us about the restaurants in town. Ken Norton Jr., Tony Tolbert. Casillas looks fresh. Yeah, he does. Well, when you play tackle in there and you weigh 280, 290 pounds, and you can look like that after the game. You're in pretty good shape. I don't know. He was asking a lot of questions about golf yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Down goes Richards. Stop by Perry Williams. There's my man Nate Newton, number 61 there. Old Nate lost a heck of a lot of weight. You know, he got up to 400 pounds. 
He <laughs> lost weight? Well, we just found some of it, I think. He did lose. I mean, he was up to 400. Then he went all the way down to like 290. And he said they were throwing him around like a rag doll. And then he went up to 300, then 310. So he likes around 310, 315. He says if he gets up to 315, he says then, then he really starts to worry. But Nate start Nate, when he starts pulling his pants up after every play, then he got it. He got to take some more weight off. That's a rule. Richards. Nate says sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night, and those movies just won't do it. You got to eat, he said. Oh yeah. <laughs> they say, well, try and think about something else. And he said, man, when you love to eat like I love to eat, you don't think about anything else. <laughs> so once he's done playing, he's just going to get fat. Truly fat. <laughs> Not smelly fat. Truly. <laughs> Truly fat. <laughs> but Nate has them all categorized. But I'll tell you what, this guy's a heck of a player. I mean, he he's really playing is. with a bad knee, should have had surgery, a real tough guy, very solid in the middle, and has really helped this Cowboy team. Fourth and two. Aikman back in the pocket. Gets his first down to Michael Irvin. To the giant 25, they picked up five. Yeah, a lot of times you talk about a guy like Nate and, and you, you know, you talk about his size and his weight, you forget that the guy is a good player. I mean, just watch him here. He's a left guard here. And, and he again, he stays square. Pepper Johnson is going to rush on him. Boom, he just gets him. He keeps him right there in the line of scrimmage. That was Carl Banks rushing against him. But he just gets squ square, just stays right on him. You don't get any penetration in the middle when Nate Newton's there. It looked like Banks couldn't decide which way to go. Couldn't even see around which well, way to go. Yeah, that's the thing. Big Nate, he'll block the quarterback out of him. Eight and a half minutes left. Richards flag on the play. And a fumble on the play as well. I don't know that that whistle blew or he was down. That looked like that ball came out before he was down. They may say that the whistle blew or he was down, but it didn't look like it from here. The Cowboy offensive unit stays on the field. Offside, 77 defense. Still first down. Offside. So it's not going to count anyway. Right. Because the guy that recovered the ball was the guy who was offside. See, because Kervin Richards, he does fumble. I mean, there was no whistle or anything. That ball comes out before he goes down. Eric Dorsey, number 77, jumps on it. But, of course, Eric Dorsey, number 77, was offside, so the play doesn't count. First and five, Eric Howard made the hit that knocked it loose. Kervin Richards. 10. Greg Jackson the stop. Yeah, this is what you call wearing wearing a defense down. And you just just watch Big Nate here. You say you need some movement in there in the middle. And you just start taking him and he just runs the thing out. Just run, let it. He wants to go out that way. Just get him torqued. If he wants to go that way, you see you get your right hand right on the seven and just push him or right by the way he wants to go, and that'll create the hole. Sometimes these guys are so big and strong, you can't take them the way they don't want to go, but you can take them the way they want to go. And then it becomes up to the back to read that. The AG was the man in motion. Kervin Richards again. Inside the 10 to about the 8, Carl Banks on the stop. Yeah, we were talking about Jimmy Johnson. He changed 18 out of the 22 guys. And it's interesting, the University of Miami is number one in college football, and this man here, Jimmy Johnson, recruited or brought in 18 of those 22 current starters. He was telling me before the game down on the field that we were talking about this figure, 18 out of the 22. He said it would have been more, <laughs> except two of them got hurt. You think he doesn't keep track of things? Uh, and I'll tell you, I mean, he knows. I mean, you know, that's... That's a, I mean, there are a lot of good head coaches, but not all of them are talent people. Jimmy Johnson is a good head coach who is a personnel guy. Aikman. Nova check at the five. Run out of bounds by Reynolds and Collins. You know, and here's a man you wonder about, you know, what's going on in his mind and with his team. 
I mean, nothing has gone right for Ray Hanley or nothing. the New York Giants this year. I mean, from you know bringing in Rod Rust, a defensive coordinator, they didn't get that down. Who was going to be the starting quarterback? Do you talk to the press? Do you not talk to the press? And uh, you know, you just have to be balanced. No, and no matter what happens, everyone has to stand up to it. And uh, the Giants haven't done a good job of that. Here's Aikman again. Touchdown to Harper. Flag on the play. From four yards out, Aikman to Harper. But a penalty marker down. A lot of milling around going on. Holding. 23 defense. It's declined. Holding touchdown. against Perry Williams, it is a touchdown. And that's the side that Harper was on, too. That was just that slant. Three-step drop. Boom, just throw it in there. What was he's going to three-step drop, just throw that slant in there to the left. The guy that was called for the penalty was Perry Williams, who was covering out of Harper. The extra point is good. Dallas leads by the score of 30 to 3. Up one of the best offenses in football against one of the best defenses in football. You could almost say the best in both categories. Certainly talent wise. Megan. Trying to stretch it out. Hit down by Chad Hennings and a flag on the play. I'll tell you, it's, it's funny. The Cowboys are, 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 are getting more intense and fired up and playing a heck of a lot harder as this game goes on. They were kind of sleepwalking in that first half, but whatever happened at halftime, they sure turned it around, and they look like a totally different team. They look like a fun team in this second half and an explosive team. Holding number 37 on the receiving team, doing the run back. First down. Holding against Jesse Campbell 30 to 3 553 left Dave Brown comes in as the quarterback for the Giants one thing about both Kent Graham who was the rookie who just went out and Dave Brown who we're looking at now Again, the only two active quarterbacks in the Giants today, both rookies, but they're both big guys. They're both six feet five inches. And about 220. Brown back in his own end zone. Gets it outside to Cross. Cross gets out to the 10. Tripped up by Woodson. Today's game was produced by Bob Stinner and directed by Sandy Grossman. The coordinating producer of the NFL today is Eric Mann. NFL today directed by Duke Strzok and the senior producer of the NFL on CBS is Ed Gorin. Second and eight. Winding down to five minutes left to play in this game. Thirty to three Dallas. We had a great record on Thanksgiving Day. And for the most part a great record after that. Brown, Jimmy Jones, there to with an assist. You know, there's a guy, you know, we talked about Eric Williams, but here's a guy on defense, Leon Lett, who's going to be a good defensive player for a long time, too. You saw William Roberts, he just he just tried to cut him and Lett ran right by him. But I mean he's a big guy, big cat Lett, 300 pound guy. And he's one of those guys that's going to be be in there for a long time and be a good player for a long time and the Cowboys have a lot of young players the youngest team in the league but they also have a lot of talented players talent young talent is pretty good the draw play to Megan chase down by Clayton home and a flag on the play again well, you know the one thing when Jimmy Johnson came in he says that they didn't have any speed they needed speed they got speed, and the other teams in this division didn't. 
You know, the Washington Redskins don't have speed now. The New York Giants don't have speed now. And Jimmy Johnson and the Dallas Cowboys do have speed, and they're the dominant team in the division now. And to add to that, not only do they have speed, they have that size you talked about. Yeah, Guys because like Lett. Yeah, they can get in a slugging match with you. Yeah. Nate Newton, we saw him, big Eric Williams, and then you have a running back like Emmett Smith, one of the best in football. Michael Irvin, always a threat, Face although he mask. wasn't today. 51, defense. Still third down. Face mask violation against Norton. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League. This CBS telecast intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS, the Dallas Cowboys, and the National Football League is prohibited. Brown gives the bunch. You know, we're talking about the Redskins. You know, they don't really have that speed that they used to have, and, and this team doesn't. I mean, this team drafted a lot of offensive players. They didn't draft any defensive players. Uh, number one. In fact, Jared Bunch was a number one draft choice. And then you lose a guy like Lawrence Taylor, and you say, why aren't the Giants winning all the time? Because they're not good enough to anymore. And they're not getting any younger. Brown back to throw it. Throw it deep. Out of bounds. Incomplete. And a flag again on the play. Chris Calloway, the intended receiver. They, they threw the flag right at the area where the quarterback Brown was hit by Ken Norton Jr. Holding. So it was either going to be holding on Megat, who was blocking Norton, or it'll be on Norton if he hit Brown. And if it's holding, it's probably on Megat. Holding, 30, offense. Still first down. Yeah, you can see it. Here's Maggot right here. Norton is going to come on the blitz. You see him coming straight up the middle. And you see the collision there. And then he grabs around with his right arm. But that's a tough thing, Maggot at it too. I mean, just stand there and a the guy gets a full speed run at you. You can't step up. What are you supposed to do? First and 20 at the 14. Brown on the back again. And a flag on the play. Robert Williams made the hit on McCaffrey. Holding on the defense. Dallas leading 30 to 3 with 329 remaining. Here's old big cat Lett, number 78. Holding. 26 defense first down holding called against Kevin Smith another of those number one draft choices you were talking about is Kent Graham and another one of those guys with speed that can play very good man to man coverage he started uh, last week against the Cardinals did very well and started today and he's played well he really replaced Isaac Holt. Brown to throw it. Chase. Screen pass. Make it. Finally hit down. Another flag on this play. Evan Smith came up to make the initial hit. Johnny Greer's had a busy day. This against the Giants. You, know, you stop and think, John, all the, in the beginning of the year, almost every game you heard or we did, someone said, well, we don't have instant replay this year. And all of a sudden, I haven't heard anything about it. No, no, and of course, and I'm one of the guys Passing who the believed it should have been there. 85, offense, still first down. Again, you know that has been our Thanksgiving Day tradition to present to the most valuable player in our opinion a turkey leg and a turkey first and 19 we'll get into that in just a second Brown back again. 
again. Again, he's under pressure. Chased in the end zone. Haley and Jeff Cook get him out of bounds. There is the present they'll get. And you name the, the recipients. Well, well, what we have there, Pat, is, is it's a bird from you, the smoked turkey. It has six legs, and you can see there's just five of them there. The turkey leg award is going to go to Emmett Smith. Now, I thought now we got five other legs there, so we would give the five offensive linemen of the Cowboys, we'd give these guys each a leg, too, because Emmett Smith would want it that way. And then what the heck, when you got big old guys like Eric Williams and Nate Newton in there, we may as well give them the five legs and the whole bird. And they'll find something to do with it. They'll appreciate it. Let had Brown, he got away, and Let got him back. The big cat. Hey, he looked like a big cat on that play. I mean, this guy is really going to be something. I mean, you just look at him. He has the size. He has the speed. He has the quickness. Watch this move here. He starts inside, does a head slap, goes to the outside, breaks up a double team, goes for the head, spins around, comes back, and makes a tackle down below. That is a heck of a play. Now, they've been on these quarterbacks all day. I mean, they only had three sacks, but 19 hurries, 13 knockdowns. I mean, the Giants haven't had a, had a chance. That, that's a Thanksgiving record for putting pressure on a quarterback. Maggot with the draw play. The old standard play that has worked for so many years for the Giants, back to the days of Tony Galbraith. Personal foul, face mask, number 37 defense, first down. James Washington. James Washington is playing strong safety today. Remember, he was a free safety. Thomas Everett, who was a strong safety, tore a rotator cuff, so he's out. So they activated Ray Horton, and he played free safety. And James Washington, who you see with the penalty right here, became the strong safety. First and ten Giants. 224 left to play. Brown fires flag again on the play. Howard Cross, the intended receiver. Darren Woodson, the Dallas defender. Big Leonard Marshall. It's been a frustrating year for him, too. Well, it's been a frustrating year for all the Giants. I think it started out in training camp. And then just as recent as a couple weeks ago, remember that Sunday night game against Denver? Yeah. That day the Redskins lost, the Cowboys lost. They had a chance to get back Illegal in it, then they lose to, to Denver. 66 offense. Leonard brought up a very good point when we were talking to him, saying when something like this goes on, you start to worry about not your own position you start to worry about are the other people in the right place are they doing the right thing and then you stop doing a, an effective job yourself I think that's that's one of the problems the Giants have had all year they've done too much worrying and not enough play. Brown got rid of it to McCaffrey Woodson with the stop Caffrey has taken some real hits today you know but he's a guy who could be a a real good third or fourth wide receiver because he's one of those possession guys and if they had a little speed outside you know if they had a guy like a Michael Irvin McCaffrey would go very well with him and he's about six five so a good target also this afternoon on behalf of NFL charities Cowboys owner Jerry Jones and giant president Wellington Mara announced an NFL charity grant to the United Negro College Fund making the NFL's total commitment more than five hundred and fifty thousand dollars to that minority educational fund NFL charities was formed by the NFL club so that the clubs could collectively make grants to worthy national causes in the recent years NFL charities have made grant comp commitments of more than thirteen million dollars. Airship 
Shamu painted black and white like America's favorite killer whale at SeaWorld. Shamu is joined by dolphins, penguins, sharks, and other fascinating sea creatures at SeaWorld in Florida, California, Texas, and Ohio. Dark, dark all up those, there. All those fascinating <laughs> creatures. You just have to take my word for it. It was painted black and white. Stephen Baker, the intended receiver. Now, you know, you like an old equipment guy. You can, you always tell an old buck. equipment guy, yeah, Buck, Buck Buchanan there, and because they got that belt, and they always have stuff hanging from them. Yep. You know, it's not only keys. I mean, they get, you know, anything you need, an old equipment guy always had. You know, he's a guy who was the. And he never loses it. No, he was a supply sergeant in the service. And he got everything tied right to him. He always has what they call, he's, I have it on my person. <laughs> Buck takes care of everything. He locks up the chewing gum. Brown laterals to Megan. Megan taken down. I don't think they're going to let, I don't think they're going to let Brown have that, have that laterals <laughs> as if anyone cared because the whistle blew before he lateraled it. I think it was one of those in the grass things and they stopped the play. It's interesting for a rookie like Dave Brown to be wearing a glove. Most quarterbacks don't wear glove. Randall Cunningham is one of the few that does. Uh, you know, Jim McMahon when it gets cold will to, to throw a spiral. He could have the plays written on that one. He could have the plays inside him. There's Buck's belt. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just look at it. I mean, he has everything on that. I mean, anything that you would need. I mean, there's stuff. Look, and you got stuff. You put stuff in, and you got the the belt, and you know the pants are hanging down, and you know stuff tied to everything. And like I said, whatever you need, Buck has on his person. Needle nose pliers if you don't need the regular kind. Happy Thanksgiving from all of those guys. And you do those such a guys. great job. Uh, it's tough in this league playing with veteran quarterbacks, but when you only have two quarterbacks and they're both rookies, it's impossible. Tonight on CBS begins with the Sears Family Theater presentation of E.T., the extraterrestrial. Starts at 8 Eastern, then it's evening shade beginning at 1030 Eastern tonight on CBS. Kevin Smith back deep for the Cowboys this time to handle the punt by Brokop. Across midfield to the 45. McGee on the stop. I tell you, these guys are going to feel real good today. This this Cowboy team, you look at them after the game now. They got 10 days. Jimmy Johnson's going to give them Saturday and Sunday off. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he gave them Friday off, too. Detroit. Well, he told them they had to come in tomorrow to look at tapes and what have you. But he might rescind that. Yeah, once you score 30 points and you look at their standings, they're 10 and 2. Philadelphia's 7 and 4. They're the next closest team. Washington, the Giants, I would think today would be eliminated from most postseason consideration. And so they're 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 really in good stand. In fact, when you look at the whole NFL, I would think that Dallas, 49ers, and Buffalo, those are probably the three best teams in football. Well, Dallas, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Jones. Now he's having a good time. Bought the Cowboys four years ago, brought in his college roommate. Jimmy Johnson and they've done some job of rebuilding this franchise. Well he made it fun. He has a lot of life. He has a lot of spirit. He had a belief. He sold something and it's paying off for him. And nobody's enjoying it more than he. So happy Thanksgiving one more time from Dallas where the Cowboys beat the Giants 30 to 3.